Have you ever wondered how a black hole is born? What triggers the creation of these mystifying celestial objects? The story begins with a star, specifically a star that is at least eight times bigger than our sun. Throughout its life, the star shines brightly thanks to a process called nuclear fusion happening in its core. However, as in all things in life, the star cannot escape its eventual end. When the star's nuclear fuel runs out, the balance between the inward pull of gravity and the outward push of radiation gets disturbed. Without the outward push to hold it back, gravity takes over, causing a massive and destructive implosion of the star's core. This triggers a massive explosion called a supernova, an event so powerful that it can outshine an entire galaxy. The supernova throws most of the star's outer layers into space, resulting in a shrunken core. This core, the heart of the star, survives the explosion. But the story doesn't end here. This shrunken core, now a shadow of its former self, continues to collapse under its own gravity, squeezing matter into unimaginably dense states. This unstoppable gravitational force speeds up the core's implosion until it reaches a point called the Schwarzschild radius. Then something extraordinary happens. The gravitational force becomes so strong that not even light, the fastest thing in the universe, can escape. This is the birth of what's called an event horizon, the point of no return, marking the boundary of our newborn black hole. At the center of this black hole is the actual singularity, a point of infinite density beyond our current understanding of physics. Hidden by the event horizon, this singularity remains the mystery of a black hole. When the dust from the supernova has settled, what's left is a compact leftover, a budding seed, teetering on the edge of becoming a singularity. As we journey deeper into the heart of a black hole, we encounter mysterious features that challenge everything we know about science. Think of a black hole as a space where gravity has pulled all material so close together, it becomes incredibly dense. It's so dense that it warps the space around it, creating a sort of well that nothing can escape from. Imagine a boundary around the black hole. This is called the event horizon. Anything that crosses this boundary is stuck inside the black hole forever, adding to its size, spin and energy. It's not a wall or anything physical. It's just a point in space where it becomes impossible to escape, even for light. And the size of this boundary, known as the Schwarzschild radius, grows as the black hole gets bigger. But what's inside the event horizon? That's where we find the most mysterious part of a black hole, the singularity. This is where everything gets squeezed into a tiny spot with no size at all, and our usual rules of science just don't work anymore. The singularity is hidden from the rest of the universe by the event horizon, keeping its secrets tucked away. A black hole's characteristics, its size, spin, and energy, determine how it behaves. Some black holes spin, Kerr black holes, and some don't. Some have energy, Reisner Nordstrom black holes, and some don't. Spinning black holes can pull space along with them, while energy black holes can produce extra electric effects. Despite what their name suggests, black holes aren't empty. They're packed full of matter, crammed so tight it's hard to imagine. They show us the awesome power of gravity, able to bend the path of light and slow down time. Within the where not even light can escape lies the singularity, a point of endless density. Black holes are not all the same. They come in different sizes and have unique features. This fascinates scientists who study the universe. There are two main kinds of black holes, the smaller ones and the really big ones. The small ones, called stellar mass black holes, are about the same size as a few suns put together. They're created when big stars explode and can be found all over the universe. They usually exist on their own or with a partner. Then there are the supermassive black holes, which are really, really huge. They live in the center of galaxies and are so massive that they can be millions or even billions of times the size of our... Their gravity is so strong that they control the movement of stars around them and can even shape the path of the galaxy they live in. But scientists think there might be other types of black holes too. They believe there could be medium-sized ones which would fill the gap between the small and supermassive black holes these are still just a theory, though, because we haven't found any yet. Scientists also think there might be tiny black holes, way smaller than the small ones, but as heavy as a mountain. Like the medium-sized ones, we don't have proof these exist yet. Each type of black hole, from small to supermassive, behaves differently. Their behavior depends how big they are, how fast they spin, 
and if they have any electric charge. These factors shape the space around them, leading to amazing effects that we see in space. In the vast universe, black holes are as diverse as the galaxies they live in, each one showing us just how powerful and extreme the universe can be. So from small to supermassive, the many different types of black holes reflect the variety found in the galaxies they call home. Black holes are some of the most mind-boggling phenomena in the universe. Imagine a space object so powerful it can suck in everything around it, even light. But that's not all. Famous scientist Stephen Hawking brought a new twist to these mysterious cosmic monsters. Black holes, he said, aren't just vacuums swallowing everything in their path. They also have a tiny invisible world of their own, where the rules of quantum mechanics come into play. Quantum mechanics is like a secret rule book for the tiniest particles in the universe. It's tricky stuff, but Hawking found a way to connect it with the massive scale of black holes. He came up with a theory called Hawking radiation. He suggested that right at the edge of a black hole, tiny particles and their opposites, antiparticles, pop into existence. Sometimes one of these particles manages to escape the black hole's powerful pull, while the other one gets sucked in. To us, it looks like the black hole is slowly losing mass and potentially could even disappear over time. But the mystery of black holes doesn't stop there. Another interesting theory is related to thermodynamics, the science of heat and energy. Just like how things can get hotter or cooler, black holes also change. They have what's called entropy, which increases as they pull in more stuff. Surprisingly, these black holes also have a temperature. It's not freezing cold as you might expect. In fact, the smaller the black hole, the hotter it gets. The particles that escape, they're the ones giving the black hole its temperature. All these fascinating aspects of black holes hint at a single, all-embracing theory. One that brings together the laws of gravity and the rules of quantum mechanics. It seems that black holes might not just be intriguing space phenomena, but rather secret doorways to understanding the deepest mysteries of the universe. Have you ever wondered, if black holes are invisible, how can we find them? Good question. Even though we can't see black holes, we have some clever ways to know they're there. Let's talk about the first of these ways, X-ray emissions. Imagine black holes as cosmic vacuum cleaners, sucking in everything around them. When they do, matter forms a glowing disk that releases powerful X-rays. We can't see these X-rays from Earth, but our space telescopes can. So while we can't see the black hole, we certainly see its X-ray signals. Another cool thing about black holes is that they bend light around them, creating a sort of space mirage. This is something Einstein predicted a long time ago, and it gives us another clue that a black hole is hiding somewhere in space. Looking ahead, we're super excited about the future black hole research. We're starting to study something called gravitational waves. Ripples in space caused by big events like two black holes merging. This could give us a new way to find and study these space giants. Also, we're building bigger and better telescopes that might soon be able to take pictures of black holes. This will give us a glimpse of some of the most mysterious places in the universe. Using these amazing tools, we're getting closer and closer to unlocking the secrets of black holes, these unseen powerhouses of space. With every new discovery, we're learning more about these space mysteries and we're taking you along for the ride in our quest to understand the universe. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe for more space adventures. Stay tuned for more updates. Thanks for tuning in.